What up guys, Cal Visuals, and I've been receiving a lot of questions from you guys about my eyes. <laughs> so I got LASIK eye surgery about three weeks ago. Got a ton of questions from you guys about these bad boys. A bunch of people asking what was the procedure like? Did you feel it? Were you awake? What did your eyes feel like afterwards? Were you scared, etc. Um, so I thought I'd just make a, a short little vlog here, you know, talk about my overall experience, what it was like in the procedure, in the room, um, and then post-op as well. Uh, just kind of give you guys a little insight. And again, I just think it's like super wild, weird, and interesting. So yeah, let's dive in. Being a commercial filmmaker and photographer, constantly on the go um, you know sometimes I'm on set for eight hours straight other times you know I'm going and doing travel uh, or adventure based trips um, so I might be in a national park or doing backcountry camping where you know I don't have access really to clean water and solution for my contacts or extra contacts etc for multiple days so if something happens I'm screwed um, you know so I've always known LASIK was kind of a big key important thing for me to get um, and so finally, you know, got the money up in place, um, decided to, to run with it and get it. Um, and so I did. The procedure is, it's just crazy. The fact that I'm in and out in 10, 12 minutes maybe, and I can see it after the procedure is just like, so let's talk about the procedure. What was it like? First thing first. So I walk into this room, right? And we got two females um, in there, both, you know, full, you know, full, fully suited up and everything, got their, uh, their mask covers and, and uh, you know, the, the cover over top of their hair and all that stuff. And, and they're both in there like just <clears throat> eyes directly down at the work, you know? And so I walk in and I sit and I'm just waiting in this giant open room. You know, it's like this huge room for this eye surgery. And then they just have two machines that you lay on, like two little machines in there. And like the rest is just this open space. So I'm like, sitting in this giant open space just like it's cold like I can like smell the air like the clean doctor air and I'm just like getting all tense and freaked out um lady comes over head doctor comes over good check check good to go let's work the eyes <laughs> so they laid me down on this table um, and first things first is they drop these drops in my eyes um, and they're uh, essentially numbing drops um, And that's the first kind of process of numbing your eyes if you will. So they put these drops in and um, Kind of feels like a little like tingle a little slight little burn nothing bad at all That's that goes away in a couple seconds and then your eyes are numb um, And not like numb like tingling like like they start to go numb and like it's not necessarily that like you feel it There's not like a big sensation with you noticing they go numb um, but I'll get to it. Let's just continue here. So yeah, I get, get eye drops. I'm laid down on this table and then essentially what they do is they take these like clear like tube-like pieces. I don't even know how to describe them. And they literally grab your eyes and they jar it open. <laughs> and so like literally you've got your eyes puckered open like this. And so you can see here, If you can see here, I probably look absolutely crazy talking like this. These bloodshot marks on my eyes, they were even worse, like way, way worse the day after my surgery. So if you were following me, you probably got a better picture um, or idea of what I looked like because I was posting it um, throughout on Instagram. That's kind of where I got all these questions from. So they were way more red um, right after surgery but that doesn't reflect any pain at all. I mean, I, I wasn't feeling pain. The reason that I had these um, blood, essentially, they're just blood vessels that popped. It's essentially really what it is. And the result of that was simply because of these devices, you know, when they pop, they pop them in there in place of your eye, you're gonna feel a sense of pressure. And that's all it really is, is you just feel them pressing. It feels like someone's pushing down on your eye um, and it's just locking in and, and kind of holding that open. But that's where your blood vessels pop is from that pressure of that device kind of pushing down on your eye. Um, and so you've got this big thing kind of pushing down and it's got your eye locked open and then what they do is they have this t the table can kind of like rotate back and forth between these two different spots um, so you, you're laying on this table and they rotate you to the right to do your right eye so then you know you rotate they line you up underneath and then they like shoot down this needle 
um, this needle and then this like kind of bright flashing light that goes with it. And this is probably the scariest part of the surgery. So this is the second and like final numbing phase that they do. And so as soon as that kind of needle touches your eye and the light flashes, your eye slowly goes dark. And they give you forewarning of this during their surgery. Um, the doctors, you know, were, were great for me. They literally were talking me through the procedure the entire time, you know, so I knew, I knew what was going on. I knew what was coming next. Um, and, you know, it just made the whole process a lot better, um, a lot smoother, and I'm sure it kind of helped uh, make me less anxious and, and stressed out when the procedure was going on. Back to the crazy part. Yeah, so they, this needle and this light go off and your eye slowly goes dark. Like it's literally like tunnel vision, like just like closing in and your eye just goes dark and it's completely black. Um, and it lasts for like 30, 40 seconds and then it slowly comes back, but they literally, they do that eye and then they swing you over to the other side, line you up, ching, do the other eye. And the craziest part for me is so, I was so focused on like just staying calm and like, let's just get through this because it was just so weirded out with people touching and messing with my eyes because these are like my babies. This is how I make a living. <laughs> Anyways, um, so I get my left eye done and I'm like, okay, we're in the clear. Done, good to go. They sit me up off the off the table. I'm like, okay, cool. And the lady grabs my arm. They're like helping me to walk. I'm like, okay, I'm getting walked out, sweet. And they walk me to the second table. The second table. There's another part of the surgery. So this is where they actually, uh, the second table is where they kind of lift the flap and do the um, actual laser, um, laser eye, hence the LASIK. <laughs> Should have known that, Kyle. So they take you to this other table lay you down, line you up, and this is a freaky part. Uh, I asked about it post-op, because um, I wasn't sure. It seemed to me like she was rubbing like this polish on my eye with like a brush. Oh, so they take those two pieces out and they actually have to put two different new ones in your eyes um, to lock them up and open for the laser. But anyway, so they put that in, lock your eyes open. They're big and wide like this. And so your eyes are locked open. And then what feels like, I thought she was rubbing like this polish over my eye, but it's actually um, a knife. And what she's doing is, uh, you probably uh, might be getting this wrong so you'll have to check with the doctor when you get there but she's like lifting the flap of your eye now i don't know if it's like the flap of your cornea or if it's to reach your cornea i'm not big on science and the anatomy of the human body so i don't really know all that stuff but essentially she's cutting your eye she's cutting open your eye and lifting it and i had no idea the entire time so to kind of give you some insight into that you know i wasn't feeling the pain um it just again because like you're seeing it and like but it's right there on your eye you know, so it's like, like you can't, it's all blurred out on my, my fingers all blurred out, you know? So I can't really see what was touching my eye. I just know she's touching my eye. Um, and so overall that was just really, really weird. And then the final part, this is like, I felt like I was in like a video game, like Tron or something like that. So now they line up your eye. Um, you know, again, they do it one by one. So they line up my right eye, get it centered, put in place. And then she's literally just like, okay. And we're sig signifying the laser. Laser is up and hold. And she's like counting down for me to keep my eye held in place. Um, and this part is uh, a little weird. Not a little. It's definitely weird. You know, you can you can smell that sensation when hair is burning. That that smell. Well, it turns out eyeballs smell the same way when they burn. <laughs> so they use this laser and they literally burn your eye um, in order to get it. You know. It's either like, I can't remember, they tell you pre-op, um, so the, the, what's going on with your eyes is usually either it's too flat or there's too much of a curvature, um, and so they use this laser to kind of correct that. Um, and so you're just literally just staring into this laser. There's this green light in the center, and so you stare at this green light, and then the laser just beams down on your eye, and it, it literally looks like you're like looking at some weird like pixelated like video game that's all Christmas themed because it's like just all red and green all up in here that you see um, but you're just literally like staring for like 15 seconds looking at this this laser or this light if you will you know um, and then they switch you rotate you over do the next one and then you're done and like literally they lifted me off the table 
grabbed my arm, helped walk me to uh, you know the waiting room. I talked to my um, post-op nurse. Uh, she provided me with my materials and then good to go. I literally left same day, was out. And I could see, you know, I was, I was back home at the house. I was watching TV. Um, now granted, I had to wear sunglasses um, for that entire day post-op. Um, and then I wore them for a little bit the second day, but from then on out, I was totally fine. Um, talking about overall post-op, you know, how was the process? How did I feel? Um, was it difficult, stressful? Was there a lot to do? In regards to what you had to do, so essentially what I was given was a set of eye drops I had to do four times a day for a week following my procedure. I was also given a set of pills I'm still taking now. Um, I take those till they run out. I believe they go for about a month, a month and a half. Um, but you take two in the morning, two at night. That's to help with getting your eye and keeping it wet. Um, so that's the biggest thing I think is with the laser is it really dries out your eye. So you're gonna get that. As well as then what's called these little blank eye drops. Um, and you're gonna use those a couple days after the, the surgery. You'll use them every couple of hours. But the day right after the surgery, they actually instruct you to use it about every 15 to 25 minutes. Um, so really it's like the day after surgery that's like the toughest because you know you have the eye drops you're doing four times a day. That's three, you're an idiot Kyle. Four times a day. <laughs> um, then you have the blank eye drops you're doing 15 uh, every 15 to 25 minutes. And then you have the pills you have to take in the morning and at night. I mean, literally like the day of surgery and then the day after, those are the toughest days. Um, and then literally after that, I, I didn't notice anything. I had no problems. The only issues after the first two days I had my eyes was really, they might just get a little dry or a little blurry. Um, and that's totally common. Um, you just put in some eye drops. Uh, again, put in the blink eye drops and you're good to go. Um, and those side effects tend to wear off, they say, you know, within a couple of weeks. Um, and I'm in week three and I really don't notice any, uh, no blurriness at all um, and my eyes might get a little dry um, you know they're probably a little dry when I wake up in the morning and that's about it I don't notice anything else at all um, so overall like I'm so so happy with the procedure um, so happy with the results um, I got 2015 vision guys uh, and a lot of people think that's bad that's actually like really really good that's better than 2020 they gave me better than 2020 stoked <laughs> the the procedure was just like a totally weird and wild experience but again it's it's 10 to 15 minutes it's super short um totally worth it again i went home the same day i have to take you know some pills and do some eye drops but that's it literally that's it um i'm given a mask to wear when i shower and when i sleep just so i don't scratch my eyes that's for the first three days um you're instructed to take a nap directly after getting the procedure done which you're going to want to do just because your eyes are super dry and they sting a little bit because obviously you know you just had surgery you just had laser eye surgery your eyes were brown with lasers it's going to sting a little bit not really though again like it really feels like like you put in, um, like you put in some eye drops, you know. Like if you put in um, some eye drops uh, for like if you're, you're dealing with allergies or something like that, um, you know, your eyes sting a little bit. It's literally like that stinging sensation for a tiny bit. And as soon as I woke up from my nap, I felt literally so much better. Again, I've got no complaints. It's just I got to put in some eye drops whenever my eyes get dry for a couple hours. And then I take some pills in the morning and at night. So I would totally, totally trade that any day, any time for 2015 vision. Um, needless, needless to say, guys, I am so, so pleased. If you are contemplating LASIK, thinking about getting it, shoot me an email, shoot me a DM. Love to talk to you guys about it. Um, again, super weird overall experience. Um, thankfully for me, you know, my sister had gotten it before me, and so I had someone I could talk to about it and kind of ask for advice um, and insight. And just made the process, I think, a lot better for me. And I just knew more of what I was getting myself into. So again, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to drop them below or shoot me a direct message at my email or DM me on Instagram at CalVisuals. I would love to hear from y'all and talk about weird stuff like this procedure and just like surgeries in general because I'm a weirdo like that and that stuff interests me. I hope y'all uh, stick around. Be sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel and I will see y'all next time.